not too long ago but I just wanted to say that we just reached over 4,000 subscribers yay I mean I'm sure a lot of you out there are like oh that's nothing some people have million subscribers well I am so excited and Shauna too we're so excited over our 4,000 little subbies so happy we're sure a lot of you came from um, the Swedish Lads channel with the collab we did with him but if you're not from him um, just comment on our video and let, let us know who you are where you're from and also if there's um, something you would like us to film or do uh, but yeah we're so excited about that and we just really hope that you'll enjoy our stay enjoy all our channel and just all that stuff so I love that oh, and also another um, sense of relief is I was studying all day yesterday writing this friggin essay and it had to be submitted by midnight so I did it and today I just woke up and I was like yes nothing and then also I realized oh I have a presentation on Thursday so I need to start with that now um, but yeah it's just overall been a good morning the sun's out too um, Gotta go for a run in a while, and then we'll see what the rest of the day has to bring. Hey, um, I am home in Sweden, and it feels good. I've been back now for a few days. I got back on Monday night, and um, I've just been hanging out with like my family and my friends, and it's been lovely. So Monday night, I came home. I had like a long journey. Well, it felt. It, it went really well actually like usually something's like delayed or something goes wrong or whatever but this time everything just went really well so I got back about seven in the evening and my mom picked me up at the station and then I went from there to yeah just home and chilled and stuff and then on Tuesday I was just like not doing very much, just basically hanging around the house, went for a run outside and then I studied a bit and uh, I've got my exams coming up soon so I have to study even though I'm like on holiday here and then I have just been basically kind of seeing friends so on Wednesday afternoon I went to see my friend Erika and we just had a wine on her balcony and we sat and talked and it was it's really nice like I haven't been back here since August so we had a lot to talk about and had a great time together hey guys so I'm back in Sweden feels a bit funny to be back so this is a little bit of my house um, and here I have built up my own little study corner yay because I have to study for my exams they are coming up in yeah, I should know. <laughs> no, they're coming up in April and May, so yeah. This is our living room. It's looked the same for a long time. They've done a few changes, Mom and Dad. Um, this this little thing here, this um corner with the chair and, and everything, that is like the cat's chair. Well, my dad made it, because my dad likes reading, so he put up like all the books and stuff. And my, my, well, my mom sorted all the books by al alphabetical order. <laughs> and then my dad, like, sitting in this chair, reading. At the moment, he is reading something for Lila Hibiscus. Anyhow, but yeah, the cat has, like, taken that chair. So it's her chair now. And she gets annoyed when somebody else takes it. So Roxy's our cat. She's She was born in June 2005. I remember when we got her, she was just a baby. We got her in August in 2005, so she'll be 10 this June. And um, when you came into our house, you were just a little baby. She got lost the first day. She climbed up behind these little, what would you say, like shelf things? And then we couldn't find her, but then she came back. She was so small. She's gone through like times where she's been a bit bigger so now you've lost a bit of weight haven't you haven't you girl yes 
Hello, I'm waking her up here. Poor girl. Hello, say hi to the camera. Yay. I want to warn uh, sensitive viewers, but I just found something so disgusting and sad. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you. So it's a dove. It's been killed and like someone's completely like opened the rib cage and devoured it. Oh. I mean, imagine that kind of a death, having like being killed and having someone opening a rib cage. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry if you if you uh, didn't like that content. Uh, it's ready to warn you, so I hope you didn't watch if you were sensitive. But yeah, it's just it's so Yo. Look at those eyes. This guy's pissed. Hello. No? We're not friends today? These guys usually like me, so... I don't know. Ah. So remember uh, last week when I was so happy that spring was here? Um, yeah, not pretty much right now. Uh, I think it's like 3 degrees today. And as you can see, I mean, the weather's pretty shitty oh, but I'm glad to go out for a run again I feel like I'm gonna vlog a lot when I run so I'm sorry if that's boring but I try to run as often as I can and um, last time I ran was on Thursday because as I said I had an ass assignment due yesterday then I just had like had tons of stuff that I had to do this weekend so really like I really didn't have time for running or working out or anything like that so I'm glad to get in now uh, I'm sorry for like stumble upon words because when people pass me I don't know it's still a bit embarrassing to be like pointing a camera at your face and just talking uh, but yeah, I mean, the sun's peeking out every now and then, so I guess it's okay. Could be warmer though. This is my room that I grew up in, or my girl's room. It's a bit dark in here, but I just thought I'd show you guys some nice pictures. So that's my dad and me and my brother and my mom as well as in one of the pictures. So that's my naked bum in the picture, my granny and grandpa down at the very at the corner, my brother on um, here is like some cousins and uncles and aunties and this is from when I was in Thailand with my dad and stepmom and then that's me as a little kid with my mom, some nice candle thingies, my makeup and my stuff, my guitar, random painting mess my bag my bed and the window so like this is a view of what Sweden can look like in April not very fun <laughs> so yeah it's kind of grey and boring but oh well I'll probably get green soon enough <laughs> so I want to show you guys what I got today in the mail it's the Tiny tea from your tea. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, they were kind enough. <coughs> sorry. They were kind enough to send me this 14 day uh, tea talks. And I've heard so many amazing things about this tea. I tried it once in one of our latest vlogs, uh, but that was just a pack I'd gotten from my friend. So they were kind enough to send me this. And I'm just really excited about trying it because. I've heard it's supposed to like improve your skin, aid weight loss, and like bloating and I think there's like just a long list of benefits this tea has so I'm really excited about trying this. Also, I forgot what I was about to say. God, what happened? Total blackout. So 
So I'm from a small town called Katrina Holm. Katrina Holm has about 30,000 people living here in the kind of, well maybe 25,000 actually in town. And uh, I grew up here so I know a lot of people here. And um, yeah, we've got like one nightclub. So, but on Saturday there's one other nightclub that's open so um, that's a novelty that like, it's usually not open but it's going to be open on Saturday so a lot of people are going out and I still have a lot of friends in this town so I really enjoy being home and seeing them and you know meeting people out and stuff and uh, anyhow and after that today I just went home and I've been studying and yeah getting stuff done really kind of um, and then Tomorrow I am going out to a friend's birthday party. Uh, she'll be 23, same age as me, yay! Um, yeah, and just gonna see some friends then. Oh, and tonight my mom is like opening up this bottle of wine that she's had, and it's really special, and we're having cheese and biscuits and so on. And I'm having breakfast with somebody tomorrow as well, so it's gonna be a few jam-packed days, but I really enjoy it. So, hope you guys are well, and happy Easter! Bye! Oh, <laughs> my